okay, this is consider this a warm up for whenever this season ends and we're trying to fill podcast time in like March, April. This we got a we got a bunch of questions kind of pertaining to this. And so I'm going to go with this one from Paxton Styles in Chevrolet, Maryland. Hey Mary Kay. Say Joe Flacco gets the Browns into the playoffs or dare I say Super Bowl. And honestly, we don't even need to qualify that. How does he fit in on the team next season? It's a very, very good question. Uh, and I think that, you know, it depends on how he does the rest of this year. Because if he plays really well the rest of this year, there might be teams that look at him as, as a starting quarterback. I mean, if he could go out and establish that the reason he had gone three and 14 in his previous seven starts was because he was playing on bad football teams. Uh, and he can say to people, look what I still have left in the tank. Somebody might give him a shot. Somebody might give him a chance or somebody might be willing to pay him the big bucks. I think it's going to be the year of the backup quarterback. I think the, in the off season, teams are going to realize that a good backup quarterback uh, can save your season. The Browns are finding that out right now. And there are plenty of teams out there that wish they had a Joe Flacco right now. His career has been revived, I think, by this chance with the Cleveland Browns. Um, so, you know, maybe they'll toss their hat into the ring and see about re-signing him as their backup quarterback. Um, you know, maybe they'll just say, sayonara, we've got Deshaun Watson back, we're good to go. Uh, but I think with the fact that he's coming off of a shoulder surgery, not a bad idea to have that level of, of a backup quarterback on your roster. So I would give serious consideration to re-signing him. I think the Browns especially need to take backup very seriously this offseason, not just because of what we've what happened to them this year. Well, partially, but we have no idea what Deshaun Watson's going to look like when he comes back, like none at all. And I mean, this is fairly unprecedented to come back from this injury. And on top of that, <laughs> like he came back, he played four games, got hurt. Right. And then he tried to come back from that. Couldn't do it. Came back and played two games and then got hurt again. So if we are to believe that these two injuries are unrelated, then what happened is Deshaun got hurt twice in the span of like eight games. So you better have a good backup plan because a, you don't know what he's going to look like. And B, he got hurt twice this season. I just don't think you can go into it again with like, hey, Deshaun's back. He's healthy. He's ready to go. Let's roll.